Welcome back, guys, to another weekly round of the Champion Stadium. We're going for 10,000 points after finally taking a break from doing this over and over. We're going to be starting out with uh, facing off against Drake. The weakness is Ice. So with this team, I went for a uh, Hail team setup. I have Red as my support so that I can just max out the damage output for uh, Hala and Crab Abominable because that's the one that I have. I don't have Calyrex and Leon, sorry. But yeah, so basically uh, we set up Hail and then we use the super effective boost uh, move and then we just pretty much spam sync moves we're gonna get the sync move and look at that knocks him out not quite yet out of the woodworks here though so we just finish it off with a nice hammer and then finally go for the little max overgrowth here just to get one more you and me boost and just in case we needed it but of course as you can see we don't need it so there we go take that out pause here or just a slow-mo here for just what i was able to use as far as 1800 points oh 2000 okay so we're good all right, so now we're up against Glacia. With this one, we're going to be leading with a uh, fire team. I'm going to go for uh, double ho uh, mainly just to keep the sun up. And then we're going to do Leon, just so that we can lower the sync move as fast as possible. But yeah, we use uh, Strike Oppose spam with uh, Charizard and Leon and spam Inferno. And then we wait for the right time to set up Sunny Day and then for Morty. And then after that, we just keep using I'll Show You so that we can get the super effective boost. And since we have Solarize plus Inertia for ho -Oh, we're going to go ahead and use his sync move that also saved time and having to use the uptime and look at that just completely melts their team so now we're just gonna finish it off with inferno and then that's another easy win and then we'll get the victory props there we go pause here to see the uh stuff that i used for challenge bonuses now we're up against sydney with this one we are going to be going up against a dark team so i have a somewhat of a fairy team i just had to kind of like prop up uh what's it called um marnie and Grim Snarl with some poison chip damage and then just uh, keep playing defensive here. This is going to be one of the slower paced battles just because again I don't really have a strong fairy lineup. I came up with like multiple attempts on what I can use to take this out. But I just kind of just gave up and said you know what I just need to uh, slow burn this team and then just use like a non hyper offensive team. So yeah with Grim Snarl we're going to get the bulk up buffs up. And then we'll use that like one charge move booster um, with uh, blue. We're going to spam X defense and then do a to the top. And then after that, uh, spam water pulse, occasionally doing a throw the throw the top. Uh, we're going to get both of the sync buffs up so that we can get a plus two. And then after that, yeah, follow up with Mega Venusaur. Venusaur Leaf and Venusaur's role in this is going to be to spam Razor Leaf and also get Mega healing up after it gets that buff taken care of and then throw out potions if blue gets really low. And then, yeah, just keep spamming Razor Leaf so that we can get the debuffs down. But yeah, again, it's just a slow burn, so we're just going to speed up the video until we get to the end. Alright, and again, just to reiterate, once all the buffs are up and then we're just on cruise control, Grimstone is going to spam Spirit Break. Blue is going to be spamming Water Pulse and to the top whenever we don't have the move gauge acceleration up. And uh, Leaf and Venusaur are going to be spamming Razor Leaf. And as you can see, we're getting hitting harder and harder by going for the sync moves. Uh, the Spirit Break is going to be the main sync nuke that we're going to keep using over and over. So there's the Spirit Break, and then, of course, Poison Damage is going to tick them down quicker. Points for the win. All right. Victory Pose is right there. Here is the uh, pause here for the debuffs that we use. All right. Or more specifically, challenge bonuses. All right, so now we're going to be going up against uh, Phoebe for this one. With this, we kind of had to go for... This was another team where I was just like, you know what? I don't really have a strong ghost type, even with Lunala and Lily. It actually got to the point where I just had to use like one of my strike move candies just to power it up to 2 out of 5, just so that I can do something against this team. And um, for the other one, I used uh, What's-Her-Face and Giraffarig. But yeah, um... Their role with Girafferig is literally just to spam Growl so that Lily can hit even harder with Sync Nukes and uh, Moongeist Beam. Yeah, with Moongeist, or with Lunala, we'll do Shiny Moonlight, and then we just literally spam that the whole time, maybe throughout potions if we really need to keep uh, Xerneas alive. But Xerneas is going to use the... The world of, is vast, that's what it is. The world is vast. To get the healing debuff, or the healing regen, and then also spam Horn Leech. Maybe we can throw in Moonblast if we have time, just to be able to do some extra attacks. But for the most part, it's spam horn leech and get everyone's uh, buffs up and stay alive as long as I can so that the others can just spam growl and moon bite, geist beam. But yeah, this one's straightforward in that regard. It's just growl, moon geist beam, and horn leech. Sync nuke with Lily until everything falls down, and that's going to be right here in this video. Oh, yep, there we go. Yeah, it looks like that we can get one more 
uh, Moon Guys beam in before they can sync move, because I'm pretty sure that would have taken me out, which would not have been a good time. Anyway, pause here for all my debuffs that I picked for myself. Yep, that's my son in the background. All right, now for the grand finale. We're going up against Steven here. Uh, with this one, we're going to be using a water team, going for hyper offense. Uh, with Steven Deoxys, it's like the only thing that I could use to tank. So I just thought I might as well just put it in defense mode and then just keep spamming iron defense over and over. Uh, maybe throw out a recover if we need to, but like basically since but since we're playing with hyper offense, it's just basically uh, set up the rain and then have uh, and then have Gloria and Inteleon just spam. Uh, Snipe shot with a guaranteed crit debuff, and then we'll just keep spamming that over and over. Yeah, but once we max out our iron defense, we're just gonna use like Psycho Boost, Snipe Shot, and uh, that's it. Muddy Water as well. And then they all fall over, and then we collect our little bonuses. We got 10,000 points there, and uh, it's nice and easy. All right, there's a little celebration. But yeah, thanks again for watching, everybody. This is our little weekly video that we're doing of us clearing through the Champion Stadium. However, if you want to watch again then 